Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Brandon Wynn, back again with Critical Failure, and uh, welcome. Uh, we are still doing the video every two days. I'm just now getting back into my house, uh, or my apartment, I should say. It's been uh, very hectic, to say the least. I am going through a lot of my emails, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. And the reason why I went to a, like a schedule of two uh, every, or one every two days is because... I was over at a friend's and they don't have like in like good Wi-Fi, so I basically had to just make do with what I have. And then, considering the fact that this Wi-Fi here loves to magically not let me do stuff, where I'm at, basically saying that. Uh, sorry, I'm looking at something important. Basically, uh, sometimes it'll let me record videos and upload them sometimes it won't like i can uh, record on my laptop and say keep it saved until then but it'll let me basically be on youtube studio for a couple weeks where i can upload and then it'll just be like yeah nah fam you can't do that because it won't let me get on youtube in general so i can only get on youtube studio like 50 percent of the time if i'm lucky so i apologize uh for that because it is kind of inconveniencing you guys uh I'm trying to take care of what I need to take care of and all that jazz. And I have court later today. I have a lot of stuff to do today. I promised my friend Turner, which you've seen a couple times, to go help him get a tire today, which I'm going to do that after I sadly go get uh, go to court. And then I have to go to a doctor's appointment. So this is what I have to do because Turner made some really spicy food and it hurt my stomach really bad. And I had to call out of work for it. And because of COVID, everything's going to be a problem, which really sucks because all I did was literally just have an intense stomach ache that I couldn't go to work for because like I was having a meltdown basically. Like that was really spicy. Ghost chili peppers, Thai chili peppers, like hot sauce and all that shit all into a soup. And it was, oh my God, just PTSD just thinking about it. But uh, yeah, just wanted to say that. But we were on... The Chimera Encounters, and I know it took a long time just to get to there. I mean, like two minutes just to, for me to get to that, but I'm off track. So the Chimera Encounters, not going to lie, I didn't write this down. Uh, I've been kind of just de-stressing, not really doing stuff that's been causing me stress. YouTube, sometimes it feels like a job, sometimes it doesn't. Right now it doesn't. I'm enjoying what I'm doing because I'm actually going to be back. Still doing uh, a video maybe once a day uh, once I kind of get back into the curve of things getting my uh want to do D, &D uh content again uh but the good thing is is that if D, &D does happen today i will have another curse of strong talk through which will be cool my brother said he doesn't want to go so far so he's probably not going to be involved uh his characters kind of disappear at the current moment so i apologize for that but anyway let's get into the actual content so the chimera as you guys know from my last video it is half dragon half bull not bull fucking goat uh, half lion, and I believe it's scorpion. I don't have my monster manual for some reason. Uh, it's either scorpion or snake. I think it's snake. Uh, and it's derived from Greek mythology. I believe it's started with Greek mythology. And the cool thing is that I actually really like the Chimera. Uh, I don't believe that they all have to be inherently evil or, or chaotic. I kind of think that these things should be more like on the neutral type of side where it's like it just depends on its surroundings kind of neutral evil to where it's like i'm gonna survive i'm gonna do what i have to survive but i can be reasoned with basically so that's what i think i don't think it's just straight out of evil yeah it's basically it has a red dragon black dragon whatever it is for a head but it's not inherently evil that's what i think i even though it's demon based because of the demogorgon uh it can you know neutral evil that makes sense but it can be reasoned with is what i'm saying so that's what i'm thinking but uh a neat encounter that i thought was you see a paladin actually uh kind of have it sworn to its side while it's basically like giving its like half of its food its treasure all to it and it's in, in mass like large quantity so this paladin has money to be throwing around you know it's really cool if you do something like that so you walk around you see him riding this chimera or walking beside it and it's not absolutely trying to eviscerate him that's what i think would be absolutely cool 
another neat idea is for you to encounter one of these things like fighting a hippogriff fighting a dragon like fighting something out in the wilderness and it's absolutely either getting its uh ass whooped or it's completely eviscerating whatever is attacking a really cool like like i guess you could say side quest is uh you have to go find out what the hell is attacking the <gasps> excuse me farmers in this like kind of nearby area about a couple miles away from the major city of whatever you're playing and the entire point is that there's a chimera basically eating the villagers taking livestock and uh that's what it does sorry i'm having really bad hiccups and so your party if your dm is tasked with going to eliminate the threat assess what the damage is try to fix whatever can be done so a chimera is a pretty decent like actual threat like it's got a few attacks it's got a breath weapon it's not that bad i think the breath weapon is a 15 foot cone and the chimera is not stupid enough to just sit there and attack one enemy at a time like it's going to line up its shot it's going to attack uh the weakest member first number uh, chimeras know that numbers are what matters so that's what i think about the chimera uh it probably because they're very territorial just going to as soon as they know something is in the way of like basically being in its uh territory going to be as soon as it finds out going to kill it doesn't matter what uh it's going to probably finish eating what's eating take its food back to its lair save it for later and then try to absolutely kill whatever it is uh of course, humans and stuff like that, it's kind of get, kind of get used to it. It kind of picks and chooses its time to attack them. But if it's like one of its main territorial like threats, that's what's going to happen. Like a Bahir, a dragon, you know, stuff like that. I also think it'd be cool if like, you know, some frost giants, some uh, fire giants had chimeras actually as like pets, guardian pets, because, you know, they have lots of plunder. They're just like, either you're going to do this or you're going to die type of thing. So that's what I think would be really cool. But, you know, it's up to you. Uh, I really do think it'd be cool that... Actually, another cool one is to see, like, uh, if you're doing, like, some sort of sea navigation type of, like, uh, like world where, like, like ships and stuff like that are really big. Wow, fucking focus. But uh, I think it'd be really cool for, you know, your characters to not see land for a while and it's like a chimera. It's just magically there. So you're having to sit there. But if you really think about it, it's like a chimera has a domain of territory about 10 miles long why would the chimera just be magically flying over the sea like that means that there's land nearby probably for its uh entire uh like land sea territory you know uh, it's probably hunting like large fish something that it can take back easily uh that's what would be cool like it might be attacking you know uh ships demanding plunder uh you know something to where it appeases its dragon selfish nature that's what would be cool but you know it's up to you on how you want to use a chimera i would say it probably can't speak still but obviously it knows draconic if you do want it to speak have it speak draconic that would make sense it probably doesn't know common if anything it probably knows abyssal uh but it doesn't have the ability to talk bump that intelligence up by another one that way you get four intelligence meaning that it can speak so it can speak draconic and abyssal you don't need to understand the chimera. Just know it's going to probably eat you and... Yeah. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe as I bring you more D&D content in the future. Hopefully here soon we can actually go back to a one video a day instead of uh, two. That kind of stresses me out, I'm not going to lie. And I usually can't do two in the first place. Like I plan to, my days get very busy. Uh, basically the second I wake up, it's not how I tend them to be. It's just how it is. So I'm going to try and do like one a day. Uh, instead of really shooting for like multiple so if that doesn't really work i'm just going to do one every two days like how i have been doing so yeah limit what i have to stress about so thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video peace